everybody. I'm back, and I'm here with a uh, show and tell. I figured since I was on the Toy Story kick lately, I would show you guys off um, one of my uh, vintage. Well, I, I don't. Do you think? Do you, do you dare say vintage? I don't know. Um, all I know is that she's from the original Toy Story. Um, this is Bo Peep from the original Toy Story. Now, I got her secondhand, so I don't know. I think she probably is missing her staff, and she may have came with sheep. I don't know. I originally thought that she was um, a Mattel version, um, but I don't know, actually. I don't know too much about her. I do know that um, if when you turn her around, now her, her bonnet and her hair are all molded to her head. So that is just one piece, which is cool. Um, you have to consider that Bo is considered a porcelain figure that comes off of a lamp. So her hair is not supposed to be brushable or anything. It's supposed to be molded, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And then in the back, of course, you can see her little curls. But right on the back of her bonnet, if I can get that to focus, it says Disney, made in China. So um, it is a Disney official licensed, but uh, there's nowhere else on her body anywhere that mentions any companies as to who made it. So it might have been a Disney Star exclusive um, back in 1992. Uh, if anyone knows anything about her, other than what I know, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. I always like to learn new information about some dolls that I collected uh, that I don't have all the knowledge for. Um, other than that, she has a gorgeous dress, I think, anyway. Now, the top layer is one piece. So you have these really poofy pink uh, sleeves here, and then you have this other piece of fabric that's blue with a little bit of lace on top of it. It gives it a really good effect. And I think this is supposed to like represent maybe a jacket or something. But um, it's connected to the bottom half of her dress. Um, and the bottom half is polka dotted pink with white. But if you lift it up, she also has a pettiskirt. A pettiskirt? A pettiskirt. I think a pettiskirt. A slip. <laughs> she has a slip that makes her dress poof out. If you notice, the dress is kind of poofed out. Um, it's because she has a tool slip underneath. And that's not all. I mean, it's elastic. It's not attached to the dress. It's its own thing. Let's see if I can show you guys that, that there without taking her off her stand. So it is her own, its own thing. It's um, just, just just some basic tool. And it's got an elastic around it. And then underneath, she has her bloomers that go all the way down to her, to her, um, her ankles. Those are kind of basic, too. They're just um, the blue, same blue color that is on the front of her dress. She also has, um, if you guys can see that, they're kind of a, um, a black sneakery, rubbery sneakery shoe that fits on there. I don't want to pull it off because I've never taken it off, and I don't really know how they're going to, you know, go back on. As for articulation, it's very limited, so her arms go up and down. Her head goes back and forth and up and down, so her head's got a little bit of um, play in it. And then her legs just move so that she can sit, so they go back and forth. So, um, other than that, I thought she was a really unique, nice doll to add to my collection. I did find her secondhand at a, um, a thrift shop. I probably have had her in my collection, though, over 15 years. So, um, I just, um, and, and every time I look to see um, the new Bo dolls, the new Bo Peep dolls that are in from Toy Story 4 that are out... I just compare them to her, and I say that they are just off. Or maybe she's off. I don't know. How do you guys feel? I, I, I feel like I like that her her whole body is this porcelain-y white color that makes her feel like a porcelain doll when she's... or a porcelain figure when uh, when she's actually supposed to be. I don't know. Um, comment below. Just, just a comment if you want. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.